<laughs> Hi friends, okay, how are you? How have been your day and how is everything? Okay, like this evening I had this passion, like, you know, about children. I just remember these little people we call children. And I just, you know, remember how wonderful and how lovely these children can be and how intelligent and how young their innocent mind can be. And I'm here to encourage each and every one of us, either parent or intending parent, to really give you some tips on how you can really impact in the mental life of your children and watch them make you proud. You see, um, I taught my children, like, you know, I'm always, I'm a sexual abuse, I'm, I'm so much passionate about, you know, children and adolescents, and I'm so much against sexual abuse that hmm, my children... Even in my house, any small thing, once we are coming, we've start, I've started reminding you about private part, though. you know, every day, like, it's almost like after prayers, I sing with my children and remind them about how private their private part is. So, <laughs> consciously, they were playing with one of their, like, their relation, our relation, and somehow, you know, mistakenly, the boy touched their private part and the whole hell let loose. My kids were like, ah, mommy, someone touched our private part today. And it made me to really know that, you see these children, they are so intelligent. And any little thing you put in them, you see them giving it to you in 10,000 fold. And I feel very happy about it. So I'm here to tell some of us who are parents, do not look at your children and say, oh, they are too small to learn this. They are too small to learn that. Mm -mm. If you're a mother, anything you want your child to be, start making conscious effort in three places for them to be it. Number one, start making a personal effort on how to imbibe the kind of life you want them to live, the kind of things, the kind of qualities, the kind of morals, the kind of values you want them to have. Try making positive value to put those things in them by talking to them, telling them about it constantly. You know, children, whenever you, when the children are giving birth to their brain is tabula rasa, like completely empty. They don't have anything in their brain. It's whatever you put there is what they will now reproduce for you by the special grace of God. So try talking them into the things you want them to be. Try Bring, interacting with them, not, you know, our some of our African mentality of um, a situation whereby we believe that children are our subordinates, you know, you command. No, don't train your children based on command and all that. No, try to, you know, interact with them. Like my daughter will always ask why. But don't, boo boo, don't do this. Why? Fever, don't do this. Why? Try to answer them why certain things have to be done and why certain things don't have to be done. And do not let them to take things as little. Is it not little that he touched her bum bum? No. Let them know that the weight of... Even don't say, yes, you are, he's not spoiling. Believe in that training and tell them about it because it's from that little thing that when there is danger, the big one called danger, they will be able to tell you. So I was very, very happy that, yeah, some things I trained my children in were actually yielding fruit, okay? So now, the second thing you have to do is this. In the place of, like some of us, we are Christians, some are Muslims, whatever you believe in, in praying for, why you also, you know, guide them physically, also guide them in the place of prayers. Somehow, 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 sometimes you will even see that someone can come and steal those good values you've put in them. And that's where our spiritual backup comes from. That's when the prayer you pray for them, you see it coming into action. So why you also work on it physically? Work on it what? spiritually then the third thing is this always make them open to talking to you some of us our parents our children are not open to talk to us they are not open there are certain things that i know my children might not tell any other person but they will tell me because of the relationship i have already established with them so i wish you really well you need to know that these children they are they are the future of tomorrow and the way you handle them today says a lot about you so i wish all of us well you know this you know i'm like very very happy today because at least i feel that yes the steps i've taken in parenting is working i'm not a, i'm not an expert but then i know that certain things i did has really worked out for me and i'm happy about it so be very very strong and know that this the children that god has given to you i will give to you tomorrow that they are blessings then the last thing i want to say is this whenever you are opportune to stay with another person's child be very very sensitive about that child some of us are not sensitive you might stay with a child you think they don't know something you know you might maybe bring bring sweet in your pocket and give and give maybe your own child maybe let's assume you are living with your child and another person's child you bring something and you give to your own child you consciously you might do it you might not even mean harm 
but that child is already very sharp and is already misinterpreting it i tell this to even those living with house girls if there must be any reason you should give your to give to your children gift without gifting your house girl please explain why to her see these children their psychological health is very fragile the little actions you, you make you, you take harm them without you knowing so you shouldn't be able you shouldn't buy gifts and give every other person and forget that your house girl she's a child and she has a mental health you're already telling her she's not loved you're already building up inferiority complex inside her always carry every child along with you even instead what i normally do yeah there are some times that i might have something maybe i've already budgeted something and budgeted it for my kids and i come and meet other children no i don't like bringing out that thing to give them in front of other children because i know that those other children will feel bad so if they're in my house House. the ones i have to give everybody i'll give all of everybody at that moment because every child deserves to be loved every child deserves to be treasured when other children have gone if i now have any other thing i want to give i can now give to them because i maybe i had already made that provision alone for them but one thing i don't like doing is making children feel that maybe even though they are not my children making them feel that maybe they are not loved enough they deserve our love and children function maximally when there is love so i wish you well but Parents and intended parents, if you are meeting me for the first time, I'm Dr. Unique. I like to give impact both medically, general life issues and otherwise, okay? Stay motivated, even in hard times, in challenging times. But I want you to understand that the children that God has given to us, you know, he has given to us for us to impart in them. Take every opportunity to impart in them, whether you are your biological children or they are not your biological children. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>